it. So now the beat's done. You know? I got all my sounds, I got all my drums. Now you wanna record all your audio right into Pro Tools so you can do your mixing and everything. Now normally you could go and record the MIDI notes into Pro Tools, but if you go up to view, then go to mix window to show instruments, you'll notice that when you try to apply the MIDI channel, you notice that when you go to try to apply the the module to a, uh, the MIDI channel in Pro Tools, it, it looks like a mess. Like this is all the different parts that make your modules in Reason, and it's just way too much stuff here to to try to figure out. So the best thing to do is just to just record everything right to audio. So what you want to do is you want to make new audio tracks for every every uh, module you got so we're gonna go here we're gonna make six new audio tracks six new stereo audio tracks so you got one audio track for every module that you created so the next step is what a lot of people get confused on and that's busing you need to bus each one of these different modules or, or instrument tracks to their own audio track so you're gonna start by going to the main out of your first instrument track go to the bus and set it to your first available stereo bus so in my case it'll be that one now yours might not say verses on yours you can rename these depending on what you're using them for and the, my last session I was busting stuff to a, a aux track named Versus so that's why this says this yours might say bus 1 and 2 stereo so don't worry about the name of it just set it to that one then you're gonna go over here to your first audio track set the input to that same bus boom alright so you, and it might be easier if you pair these up like this audio track to that instrument track, this one to that one, this one to that one, there and there. So now you know these two go together, these two go together, boom, these two, these two, and so on. <clears throat> so it'll be a little bit, it might make it easier for you. So we're going to go to our next instrument track. going to set that output to the next available bus, which is be 3 and 4. Set the input of the audio track to the same bus. <clears throat> Just go down the line. Next instrument track, next available bus. Next audio track to that same bus. Alright. Next instrument track. Output, next available bus. Same thing. All the way to you got all your instruments on their own bus and again don't worry about the names here yours is just probably going to be in numerical order alright <clears throat> so now we got all our buses set up but you notice now when you play your MPC you can't hear the modules. Hmm. So what do you need to do? Simple. Just record arm all your audio tracks. Alright? And and go up to to track and make sure right here where it says auto input, make sure that's set to input only. Alright? And you just go back into your thing, hit play on your MPC, and your sound should be there. Alright. So now all you gotta do, what I like to do <clears throat> is I like to slave my MPC to Pro Tools. So when I hit play in Pro Tools, it starts playback of the MPC. 
So you just go into your MIDI on your MPC, set your sync to MIDI clock or MIDI time code, frame rate 30, leave the rest off. And then you want to go over here to your transport. You want to view synchronization, make sure gen generate MTC is on. Then you just go in your MPC and you make a, a blank sequence, one bar with the same tempo as your main beat sequence. So here's my main beat sequence. You notice it's four bars. Next sequence is one bar, the same tempo with nothing on it. It's just blank. So then you just go to song mode, put your, uh, your blank sequence first, then you put your, your main sequence with however many reps you want. So this is going to come out to be probably about 50 something, 56 bars maybe, something around there. And then you just hit convert. Put it on a new sequence, an empty sequence. <clears throat> and now when you play the beat, you'll have that blank one bar. The reason you have that there is because MTC, even though it's more accurate than, than uh, MIDI clock, it, it takes a while before Pro Tools and, and uh, the MPC links up. So you need that blank space in there before, uh, before the beat will come on. So the beat doesn't start halfway through the through the first bar because if you just play it without that blank space it's gonna start but when the actual audio comes through it's gonna be like halfway through bar one and I, I'll show you what I mean so right now I got generate when I hit play on on Pro Tools the MPC is gonna start and you'll notice that it's gonna it's gonna leave out a little bit of the beat at first <laughs> See that? That was on the main sequence. Now, if I go to my song sequence, which is the one with the, the blank bar, and I'll go here and hit play on Pro Tools, you, you want to make sure your, your uh, transport is at the start, at one. And I hit play, it's going to play that blank bar first, and it's not going to cut my beat off. It's gonna So pretty much this right now was set up just the way it is in the MPC. Right here is bar one in the MPC that's blank. Same thing. Right here in bar two in the MPC is where the beat starts. Same as the MPC. <laughs> <laughs>